Uh, this is one of those things that like you really need to decide yourself, do I want to commit to, you know, bringing on this massive responsibility? Like, do I want to offer this service? Because, you know, like you really got to ask yourself if this is important to you or not. If it is not important, then, you know, like I wouldn't even touch it. But if you feel like it is important, then just know that it comes with all sorts of other burdens. Okay. So all of a sudden now you're going to be responsible, you know, for people transporting them to and from your adult daycare center. And, and, you know, that is a massive liability. And so do you want to take on that liability? What is that insurance premium going to cost per year? Is it worth it? Cause you're going to have insurance premium. And honestly, with all this, I, I, I can't even, I don't even want to see what our fuel bill is going to be <laughs> like after uh, we, we get our P and L's back this coming month, but I can only imagine, you know, it's going to be expensive compared to uh, previous months, obviously with, you know, gas prices going up and stuff. So just know that you're incurring the cost of the vehicle. You got that insurance cost, you got fuel cost, you got maintenance cost. And these vans aren't, we're not like putting like 5,000 miles a year on these vans. I mean, we're, we're like putting like probably a good, you know, 2000 miles, uh, a month on these vans, so 24,000, 30,000 you know, miles a year on these vans. I mean, they, they're getting used. So that means we got oil changes, we got tire rotations, we got tire changes, we got all the other stuff they're gonna sell you at the dealership, right? So we got all that maintenance costs, you got the insurance, you got the cost of the van. Now, are you gonna purchase or are you gonna lease? Do you wanna purchase something new? Do you wanna uh, you know, purchase something used? Do you wanna lease the vehicle? These are all things you're gonna take into consideration. The other thing you're gonna think about is, you know, the density, right, of your um, your route or your area that you're in. If it's a highly dense area, then you're definitely, you know, gonna wanna potentially consider something other than a minivan. That's when you might look into transit vans. But just know that, you know, a minivan is gonna cost thirty-five dollars to $40,000 new, you know. Um, a transit van is gonna cost fifty dollars to $75,000 new. So just know that there's obviously gonna be a big difference in those costs. Um, and then how do you charge for those? Are you gonna charge per trip? Are you gonna make it included at different price points? You know, these are all those things that you need to take into consideration. Uh, liability insurance. Now, sometimes your general liability insurance policy will actually cover these costs. So sometimes you'll find that um, your general liability insurance policy might include auto coverages if you elect to um, add that as part of your, your policy. So you might be able to get your general liability and your auto combined into one, and that potentially could save you money. Otherwise, you might have to farm it out and go to like a progressive or an Allstate or whatever and actually you know shop that insurance out specifically through them. And now you might have both general liability and a completely separate auto policy. Um, just know that auto insurance is going to be expensive. It's actually going to be way more expensive than your general liability. So again, is it worth it? Go shop it out in your area, see what it is first, maybe before you even like decide to go forward with it, you know, just to get an idea or a feel of what that costs.